Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of upcoming episode Throne of Seal based on novel. So let's start. This day, they were told to part from each other, felt very painful to them. Long Houchen personally cooked a meal for everyone, but at the time of meal, no one spoke a single word, don't be like that everyone. Great grandfather is right. The separation today, is for the sake of making us stronger on our reunion. I give you my word that within two years, or at most three, I will reform our team. At that time, we will already be a king-grade demon hunt squad. And even though this is only a temporary separation, we will still keep contact with each other. The Alliance has a system of communication, so when you arrive in your respective temples, you have to report your well-being to me by letter. Long Houchen suppressed the pain in his heart with all he could, and comforted his comrades. Lin Xin, after we separate this time, you are the one that will have the hardest time. Besides having to keep up your cultivation, you have a lot more to do. Please gather your storage devices, and I will transfer from the Eternal Melody all the resources for you to use in there. After you return, make trades for all the resources we need. Especially those going along with the source gates and forest boars. After that, you can just send the forest boa training pills and split it for everyone. As for me, I have no need for those. As an awakened god's chosen one, my physique underwent great changes, and I reckon the forest boa training pill won't have much effects on me. You have to make good use of these source gates, give priority to making a good weapon for Yuan Yuan before selling the rest. Lin Xin calmly nodded, engraving Long Houchen's words in his heart. Long Houchen continued, although the crafting aspect is important, your own cultivation is also. You don't want a gap to appear between the others and you. Although there are not many alchemists in our alliance, there are still some. I believe that in the whole alliance, there is at least another outstanding alchemist. With there so many good things we are bringing back from this trip, you can at least employ some alchemist to help prepare our pills. You don't have to do everything yourself, and must allocate some time for cultivation. Also, the other resources are up for your own use. During this period of separation, no one should buy any pieces of equipment on his own, and leave Lin Xin the responsibility to buy the equipment, to avoid any wastage. Lin Xin, remember not to be afraid of spending, and only purchase equipment at least of the legendary tier. If some fitting epic tier equipment appears, go for it. Your mission is heavy, but you have to remember that you cannot let that affect your cultivation too much, understood? Long Houchen kept warning Lin Xin. Lin Xin nodded repeatedly, his eyes returning to a red color, boss, be at ease, I definitely won't fall behind. Long Houchen heaved up a smile, turning to the direction of Saima Zian, Saima, after returning in the priest temple side, you have to keep training assiduously, and not act impulsively. Ask for your teacher's guidance in your training. I believe that the path of a disciplined priest won't be an easy one, so if possible, go through the records of your priest temple. The forest boa training pills that Lin Xin will make will be supplied to you in priority. You only have to keep in mind not to rush impetuously in battle, and comply with the arrangements of the priest temple. As for the retainer contract, Han Yu and you don't have to worry. After I became a god's chosen one, the restriction of distance in the contract disappeared. Between now and the time we reunite, the contract will stay about the same. Saima Zian's hands were holding his bald head, lowering it without a word. He appeared savage and rough on the outside, but had quite a sensitive heart. At this moment, his face was streaked with tears, and in his mind, the scenes of battle of life and death with his comrades kept appearing. For a moment, he went totally silent. Long Houchen revealed a slight smile, and don't forget about that girl from the auction house, Feng Linger. She must have been waiting for news about you all this time, Yuan Yuan, after you return to the warrior temple, you have to keep contact with Lin Xin. He will help you get a good weapon. Train with great effort, strive for the day you will be able to inlay the seven spatial gems in the divine soul shield. Yeah. Wang Yuan Yuan's lips were pursued up closely, staring at Long Houchen, as she kept nodding repeatedly. Long Houchen forced a smile, don't be like that everyone. It's not as if today, is the last day we would see each other. This time of separation, is only to be more prepared for the next time. I hope that the next time I see you all, you will have grown stronger than me. Yinga, you are actually the one I have the most expectations for. You said that it is only when you would reach the seventh step, that your ability would truly come out. You are now already a single step away from the seventh step. The next time we meet, you have to show us how strong you are. 
Against the expectations, Chen Yinger appeared stronger than Wang Yuan Yuan in her reaction, Captain, be at ease. The next time we will meet, I won't drag the group down and become one of the main forces of the team. Sorry, I never told you about that, but in fact, my internal spiritual energy is at 92 units. It was a lie that I told before, what? This instant, everyone couldn't help but shout. Another god's chosen one. Chen Yingus look was apologetic and sad, it was a promise that I had with my grandmother, even as another god's chosen one with above 90 units, as internal spiritual energy, I am just too weak. Before reaching the seventh step, my abilities have no way to shine. It's only after reaching it that I can wield the physique of the Saint Soul Girl, and at that time, my awakening will occur instantly. At that time, I may acquire an ability to communicate with the magical beasts, just like Yi Xiaole. Sorry to have kept this hidden from everyone. This is a secret that even in the spiritual temple, only Grandmother knows about. An hour later, the others returned in their respective rooms, leaving the place for Long Houchen and Kia. They were the only couple in the team, and these lovers experienced real pain and misery. Although extremely unwilling, the rest could only leave them more time. How about we have a seat in the rooftop, okay? Snuggling up to each other, among the two, Caia wasn't crying, only tightly gripping onto Long Houchen's body. Houchen, do you think I will have regained all my memories from the past the next time we meet? Kia asked softly. Si Long Houchen shook his head calmly, I don't know. Kia then asked, Then do you want me to regain them? This time Long Houchen didn't give any reply. Of course, he hoped that she would recover her memories, but he didn't want her to recall of the painful things from her past either. I will definitely regain my memories. That's because I want to know what kind of existence you were in my memories. I'm sure there was a very special feeling, Kia opened her eyes wide, gazing at Long Houchen. His handsome face appeared even more resplendent under the sunlight. He is so handsome, and so strong. And more importantly, the way he treats me is so. So, although Kia was gradually starting to accept him, the shadows in her memories were in the end wrapping in her head. She felt that it was as if a gap had formed between the two of them, as if making her too unable to face him with her true self. Lightly caressing Kia's hair, Long Houchen finally had a feeling of ease. His look was very warm. He was also able to feel the barrier that was starting to form between Caia and him, but he wasn't worried and wouldn't press her, because he believed that no matter whether her memories come back or not, he would one day gain back her heart. Separation would form a kind of stability, for everyone to calm down their own heart. Maybe the next time they meet, she will have really recalled everything. This temporary separation was only announcing a better reunion. The two of them were seated. As the sun set off, Long Houchen sorrowfully left. Caia was still seated, as the moon took place of the sun in the sky, tears flowed from her eyes beyond her control. I want to be with him. Long Houchen and Han Yu were traveling together, accompanied with four hidden knights. At such a crucial stage for the war, this was the most Xing Yu could dispatch of his forces. And their task was of course to escort them north, until they reached Night Temple, the dragon-resisting mountain pass. In the legends of Xing Modalu, it was said that dragons used to live in the northeast. For the sake of resisting dragon invasions, human from ancient times had established this dragon-resisting mountain pass to withstand the dragon invasions. Compared to the other mountain passes, the dragon-resisting mountain pass was in a rather smooth terrain, completely covered in snow and ice. Snow fell all year round, and outside the mountain pass, in a very large range, terrible cold spread all over, and frequently, the weather phenomenon would be as severe as forbidden spell ice and snow tempest. The almighty great nature became the natural barrier of this mountain pass. Therefore, despite the Night Temple being the leader of the six great temples, their demon-resisting mountain pass was not frequently under attack. Moreover, the dragon-resisting mountain pass was originally set to counteract attacks from the dragons. Among the Temple Alliance's great six passes, this was the most imposing one, which also possessed the most mighty weapons inherited from the ancient times. The pain from the departure became their driving force to advance. The Exorcist Mountain Pass was the nearest to the dragon-resisting mountain pass stronghold, and Long Houchen and Hanyu were under the protection of four hidden knights. Alternately traveling on foot and flight every day, it only took them five days to arrive at this mountain that houses the headquarters of the Knight Temple. Just as they were informed by the Exorcist Mountain Pass, the dragon-resisting mountain pass also suffered the attacks from the great demon armies. The battles were severe, but the situation was better than the Exorcist Mountain Pass. Before entering the dragon-resisting mountain pass, 
they gained the related informations pertaining to it. Outside were gathered the first, third and fourth elite legions, led by the demonic bear demon god, and two great armies, aided by six other demon gods stationed in the area. Although the conditions outside the dragon-resisting mountain pass were nasty, the troops garrisoned there were without exception, only elites of the demon race. The army only totaled 300,000 troops, but their battle strength as a whole far surpassed the million on the side of the exorcist mountain pass. From the hidden knights, Long Houchen, and Hanyu got the information that this holy war really involved the whole of demon forces. Among the 72 demon gods, 56 were involved, 8 per human mountain passes. The demon god emperor was leading seven demon gods in the rear of the great battlefield, and could potentially appear at any side of the battlefield. And in fact, the demon god emperor was alongside with the moon demon god Agars, and the star demon god Visago. Put together, these three powers possessed strength that one could well imagine. But at least, Xing Yu showed them a path. By breaking at least all through the seventh step, or the eighth step, while gaining the title of Gold Essence Foundation Knight for Long Houchen, could they have the possibility to reform their demon hunt squad and fight against the demons. Therefore, to reform as fast as possible, their only possibility was to strive their hardest in growing. For now and for the future. But against Long Houchen and Han Yu's expectations, at the time they returned to the Dragon Mountain Pass City, the Knight Temple had already arranged everything for their arrival, and they had people waiting for them. Those present to welcome them were not many, only a dozen or so. But when Long Houchen saw the two people at the front, he was unable to restrain his emotion anymore. Dashing forward, Long Houchen let out an emotional cry, kneeling to the ground and shouting from the bottom of his heart, Mother, right? Among the two people waiting for them was his mother by you. Ever since leaving his parents in those years, Long Houchen hadn't met his parents for over five years. Seeing by you stand before his eyes, how could he not become emotional? Compared to the past, Bayou seemed to have lost her sickly look, but her face still looked thin and pallid. Staggering while running to meet Long Houchen, she held her child in her arms, breaking out in tears. Since young, Long Houchen had been growing up alongside his mother, and his feelings towards Bayou were the deepest among all. The mother and son relied on each other for survival, until Long Xingyu came to look for them, time when their family gathered at last. Having separated for such a long time, and seeing his mother in front of him, Long Houchen became extremely emotional. The one standing alongside Babe Yu wasn't his father Long Xingyu, but one of the most respected elder in Long Houchen's eyes, chief of the Night Temple and holder of the Divine Throne of Protection and Mercy, Yang Hao Han, also known as Divine Knight of Defense and Planning. Yang Hao Han still retained the same appearance. When meeting again with mother and child, he seemed to show a concerned look. Looking at her son, Bai Yu felt as if she was far from having looked at him enough. Having not seen for five years, Long Houchen had already become a tall and big young man from the youth of these days. The childish nature on his face disappeared, in its place was a firm and persistent look. Fondling her child softly with difficulty, Bai Yu didn't say anything. Being a mother, she had been thinking of her child for over five years. Finally meeting him, her frame of mind could be well imagined. Mother and son were crying on each other's shoulders. After crying for a good while, Long Houchen was finally done venting his gloomy feelings. Immediately feeling a lot more unobstructed, he finally supported his mother to stand up. Then he paid his respects to Yang Hao Han, Long Houchen salutes the alliance's chief. Grandpa Yang, are you well? Right, Yang Hao Han was not only the chief of the Night Temple, but also the chief of the alliance. The Night Temple wasn't the same as the other temples. Only one who could become a divine knight could become a hall master instead of an auxiliary hallmaster. Therefore, at this day the Knight Temple had three divine knights, and three hallmasters existing. This point was exclusive and uncontested by the other temples. After all, the divine knights had always been among the strongest human powerhouse of the ninth step. Yang Haohan smiled at him faintly, nodding in response, I am well. It was tough on you, kid. Long Haochen shook his head in silence, standing wordlessly beside his mother. Yang Haohan told the fourth hidden knight, it was hard on you four. Please have a rest in our town if you want. The head of the hidden knights replied, many thanks, alliance chief, but we better return. Head Xingyu is waiting for our report, and the exorcist mountain pass still needs us. Yang Haohan didn't insist further, nodding to his words. The four hidden knights made their salutations to him once again, disappearing instantly afterward. As Long Haochen was safely sent to Yang Haohan, there naturally remained no more worry of danger. 
That was a divine night, existence that even the demon god emperor would have to face seriously. Long Houchen finally recovered from his moody state. Lending an arm to support his mother, he asked, Mother, what about father? Is he still in the front lines? Hearing Long Houchen mention Long Xingyu, Yang Hao Han and Bai Yu's expressions changed slightly. Bai Yu replied gently, Son, we will be speaking of the matter after entering the city. An ominous feeling filled Long Houchen's heart. His eyes shrank suddenly, Mother, Father, he, his, the human and demon campaign took place for so many years. Although Long Xingyu was a divine knight, dying in the battlefield wasn't impossible for him. For a moment, Long Houchen felt as if his chest was stuck with a sharp blade, his cheeks becoming totally red. Seeing her son's face, Bai Yu immediately became anxious, Houchen, don't have stray thoughts. Your father is not necessarily having issues. Long Houchen asked in a rush, just what happened? Mother, quickly tell me. Bai Yu seemed unable to keep the matter concealed any longer. Letting out a deep sigh, she said, foolish boy, do you know why your father and mother left you back then? Long Houchen replied without any hesitation, didn't he tell me that a chick under his father's protection would never grow wings on his own? Isn't that why he had made sure that I would put great efforts in training, and experience a lot and improve myself to meet up with you in a night temple in the future? Yang Hao Han, who arrived at his side at some point, raised his hand, pouring a gentle breeze of holy spiritual energy in him, easing Long Houchen's mind with its warmth, kid, calm down. With your father's strength, his odds of victory against a man are at least of 60%. Although he has yet to come back from that fight, the demon side didn't announce a man's victory either. This battle only belongs to the two of them, why hasn't father come back? Can he be? Long Houchen's head was full of worries. Yang Haohan shook his head, your father is certainly still alive. That's because as a divine knight, if he were to die in battle, his divine throne would automatically return to the alliance. But seeing that his divine throne hasn't come back until now, he is still alive. It's just that we don't know where he is. He is certainly busy with important matters, and that's why he hasn't come back. Don't worry too much. We have been sending people in search of him all this time. At Yang Hao Han's explanation, Long Houchen finally calmed down. With his intelligence, after calming down, his brain started operating rapidly, asking the question, Yang Hao Han, since my father isn't back yet, that a should be taking part in that holy war, right? Yang Hao Han nodded, among the eight demon gods assigned to our dragon resisting mountain pass is a man. With Samanaga, the two of them are commanding the demon armies alongside. Long Houchen asked, then, could we ask that Aman about the whereabouts of my father, Yang Haohan sighed, hardly. Aman is not like the other demon gods. He is known as Berserk Demon God. Among the demons, no one is more fond of fighting than him. Even as the seventh demon god, he doesn't have subordinates of his race. Sometime in the past, the Berserk Demon clan wanted to enter under his wing, but were forcefully rejected. The reason for that was simply that Berserk demons are too weak and unfit to be associated to him. In Amun's mind, there's only fighting. He's also the demon god who slaughtered the most powerhouses of our alliance. In times of battle, he's just a madman. But Amun has his good points. All he likes is good battles, and he doesn't even find it worth to attack ordinary soldiers far weaker than him. All the ones he slaughtered were the most strong powerhouses of our temple alliance, among your father and Amun, there has already been over four battles, each of which was extremely bitter, and none of them managed to finish the opponent but they also built some friendship. Your father and Amun agreed that until a victor is decided between the two of them, they won't likely let themselves get involved in battles. So even if Amun is there, he's actually mostly here as a deterrence against your father's existence. In the past the demons under him already launched many probing attacks. Those times, he didn't appear in any of the battles. From this, it can be seen that your father can't be in big trouble. Aman is also looking for him, the Cirque Demon God, Aman. Long Houchen's fists were unconsciously clenched. In his head, the deepest memory was that of Long Xingyu summoning the divine throne of doom and slaughter. The lofty figure of his father was deeply engraved in his mind. One day, I will also challenge this Berserk Demon God. Yang Hao Han smiled, let's go. I believe that in the future, you will certainly become an even more outstanding divine knight than your father. I am full of expectations for the earlier arrival of that day. At that time, maybe you will be the nightmare of these demons. Go then, we have to go to town. In the immediate future, 
You are going to be pretty busy. Long Houchen cast a doubtful glance at young Hao Han, unsure of what he meant. But he followed him to the city. Seeing her son's mood easing down, Bai Yu secretly relaxed. Her face had imperceptibly a better look. Warmly supporting her son by the arm, she came to think, underscore my little Houchen has grown. While coming to the city, Yang Haohan told Long Houchen, I got the news about you from Xing Yu. Although we were originally had great expectations towards you, you gave us one nice surprise after another that were beyond our imagination. Becoming the youngest general grade demon hunt squad ever seen, youngest commander grade demon hunt squad. You are even more outstanding than your father in those days, and by a lot. When the old Chiu from the warrior temple told me that you would surely become a divine knight before you reached your thirties, I used to believe he was exaggerating, but now, it seems that he was indeed right. Even before you reached eighteen, you already reached the seventh step. Long Houchen's face flushed slightly, Grandpa Yang, don't exaggerate. It's the first time, I'm coming to our night temple. I wonder, what have you planned for me next? Yang Haohan had a smile on his face, are you thinking that we had you come back to hide you in a very secretive place, so that the demons won't find you? Long Houchen was startled, but unconsciously nodded to his words. That was actually where his thoughts hinted. Yang Haohan shook his head, no, you're wrong. If were to do so, we would only be stifling your talent, and perhaps there would always be a shadow in your heart. Our report to the rest of the alliance is one thing, but our plan is another. We have already decided to strive our best to nurture you. And the battlefield is the best place for a knight to be. Long Haochen was pleasantly surprised. It was the first time he heard such news from the Temple Alliance, Grandpa Yang, are you permitting me to step into the battlefield? That's perfect, so when is that for? Can I go now? For some reason, after their team got disbanded, Long Houchen's infantile nature seemed to have been entirely set free. Losing some of his calm demeanor as captain, he seemed a lot more dynamic. Yang Haohan laughed in spite of himself, how eager of you. You will certainly have to step into the battlefield, but it won't be so fast. Han Yu and you will have to satisfy two conditions first, before being sent into real battles, please tell us. Long Haochen asked without hesitation. Yang Haohan replied, your cultivation has increased by quite a lot, but how about your technical side? I know that you bought some skills in Holy City, but they are far from enough. I will arrange a series of techniques for you to study, and the first thing you'll have to do will be to familiarize yourself with their use. Don't think it will be so easy. Some techniques are not executable without great effort. Long Haochen nodded. This was something he originally had to do. Yang Haohan continued, as a second point, you will have to become Mithril Foundation Knights. After getting your hands on Mithril Foundation armors, your ability to defend yourselves will go up enormously. At the same time, it will make it even harder for the demons to spot your existences. These conditions can't be regarded as too hard, you can see from this that I am not making it too hard on you guys. Long Houchen became overjoyed at these news, no problem, no problem. I will strive my hardest to train in these techniques to gain the right to step into the battlefield as soon as possible. Yang Haohan let out a smile, a ho. It looks that you aren't even putting the Mithril Foundation night test in your eyes. Long Haochen scratched his head in embarrassment, still giving the reply, I believe that I will be able to pass it. On the other side, Han Yu had a pained face. He was now at the sixth step of cultivation, but to participate in the Mithril Foundation night's test, having the seventh step was basic requirement. And moreover, Mithril Foundation Knight are all existences at the peak of the seventh step. With Long Houchen's current strength, passing the test was no issue, but to him, it wasn't that easy. Yang Haohan arranged for Long Houchen and Han Yu to stay at the headquarters. Long Houchen was living next to his mother's home. After spending two days by her side, he started to train alongside Han Yu. The Knight Temple's headquarters were situated inside the Dragon Resisting Mountain Pass, deep underground. This was the real treasury of the Knight Temple. With the Knight's sacred mountain in the south side, these two were called great treasuries of the Knight Temple. Reportedly, the divine thrones were in these treasures buried underground this. It's just that Long Haochen and Han Yu were now far from qualified to gain more knowledge about the divine thrones. To Long Haochen's surprise the Knight Temple didn't look as imposing the Assassin Temple or the Warrior Temple. That's because, inside the mountain, he could only discern a room made of rock, and couldn't even get a feel of where the real foundation of the Night Temple was located. Yang Haohan didn't give them explanation, only arranging a cave for them before leaving. 
and he told them that at their cultivation level, they would need to be able to display all the abilities of the seventh step to come out from this cave. Entering the cave, Long Houchen immediately had a feeling similar to when he was in Holy City's Alliance's great treasury. The surrounding fluctuations of spiritual energy were very strong. Their golden radiance gave an illusory feel. Originally, he was walking in the same cave as Han Yu, but upon checking again, he found out with great surprise that the latter disappeared. Surrounded by a pure spiritual energy of light element, gave a kind of pleasurable feeling. Abundant light essence filled Long Houchen's three great spiritual cavities at every breath he took. Without hurrying his steps, Long Houchen sat down, his spiritual energy rising abundantly. However, he was far from his optimum state due to his lack of focus. Since the day they returned from Andromalius province, he did not have a single moment of calm. Several emotional upheavals followed after his return to the Exorcist Mountain, causing him to be greatly excited. Even the calmness brought by the Divine Snail of Sun and Moon turned out to be ineffective. However, the Divine Snail of Sun and Moon gave him understanding of how to attain this state of calmness and focus. So Long Houchen knew what to do after sitting down. He needed to expel all his distracting thoughts, until not even the slightest one would remain. Only this way would he be able to attain a state of total cultivation, making the greatest progress in the smallest amount of time possible. Shutting his eyes, the seated Long Hao Chen entered in his meditative stance. Synchronizing with the soft light essence in the air, his face looked a lot more gentle. In a flicker of golden light, Yating appeared without a sound behind Long Hao Chen. She sat cross-legged, and shut her eyes just like Long Hao Chen. The staff in her hands was aloft, and cliques of golden light gathered naturally in their direction. Condensing and filtering all of it. What Yating was doing seemed simple, but it provided a massive help to Long Houchen. Having to deal with an extremely pure light essence made it a lot easier for Long Houchen to absorb it. Yang Haohan silently stood in a room, and at his back were two other people. On his left side was a tall and round elder, looking quite pleased. On his other side was a man clad entirely in grey, which even concealed his face. Yang Haohan smiled, Brother Long, don't be so cheap. Without Xingyu, would you have such a good grandson? and you haven't even introduced yourself to him. The glorious mission of protecting this grandson of yours is yours. Although he's your grandson, he's also the hope of the future of our Night Temple. If he's wounded in any way, I will revoke you from the task of protecting him and personally undertake it. If Long Houchen were to hear these words, he would surely be greatly shocked. That severe-looking elder was his biological grandfather. If he were to look at him face to face, he wouldn't find much similarity in his looks, Give me a break from all this. You may be a bit stronger than me, but not by a lot. Even if the demon god emperor comes, I won't let him hurt my grandson in the slightest. The round elder seemed to have suddenly gained a domineering aura. Some pure gold fluctuation regally surrounded his body, without a sound. This elder named Long Chenying, is another divine knight of the Temple Alliance, holder of the divine throne of order and law, divine knight of control and restraint. Let alone Long Houchen, even inside the Night Temple, only very few higher-ups know about the relationship between Long Qianying and Long Xingyu. This was a standard rule in the Long family. No matter how strong the elders are, the younger generations must not borrow from their reputation, relying only on their own abilities. Back then Long Xingyu also relied on his own efforts, finally becoming a divine knight. Yang Haohan let out a sigh, this time, the demons are coming tumultuously. The Holy War's outcome seems still hard to predict. Even the elders kept in reserve by the alliance came out from their mountains, but the demon powerhouses are still a lot more than us. Hopefully the alliance's battle plans will be able to be carried out successfully. Long Chenying asked, isn't that just about procrastinating? We can keep dragging and contest on the resources. Approaching it this way, demons are bound to lose. In this holy war, we are the only one with the ability to last indefinitely. You will see, a few years later, Demonkind will be close to exhaustion in terms of food. Yang Haohan replied, the demon god emperor surely thought of that before. Brother Long, don't be so optimistic. The other grey-clad person declared, I am going now. Since Houchen returned to the alliance, I can be at ease. Long Chenying wrinkled in his brows, where are you heading for? The grey-clad man's voice was full of killing intent, demon rear. After saying this, he turned and walked away big strides. Long Chenying and Yang Haohan exchanged glances, Brother Yang, after Houchen comes out from the illusory cave, I want to meet him, 
and carry out his examination personally. How does it sound? Yang Haohan nodded, this matter is to be left between your grandson and you. Do as you want. However, I'm not expert in city defense. The dragon resisting mountain pass cannot do without you watching over. After Kia, came the image of his father, who was strictly watching over him and seemed to be telling him something. Then followed his mother. Her eyes were still melancholic and sad. Since young, he was separated from his both parents for long periods of time. Having not been together for over ten years, they finally reunited with difficulty. His father disappeared because of a difficult battle, and these last few years, his mother was subject to a pain no one could imagine. The appearance of his comrades also surged to Long Houchen's mind. Since their first battle in the Exorcist Mountain Pass, to the Great Battle of the Hissing Caverns, then the episode in the Southern Mountain Pass, the illusory paradise, the swamps of gloom. All these scenes flickered very distinctly in Long Houchen's head. Part 1 End Here